In this video, I'm going to be spending max wins in Arm Wrestle Simulator. So yeah, inside the most recent update, we have received World 8 inside of the game. And yeah, that pretty much features some brand new eggs right up here, where they actually are somewhat expensive to go ahead and buy a lot of. So in this video, I'm going to be spending all of my wins in hopes of maybe even getting the rarest pet inside of the rarest egg right here. So yeah, make sure you guys watch the entire video to see if we can get lucky. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, I have been grinding for a little bit, and I'm currently sitting at 15.8 decillion wins, which is decent, but I could honestly have gotten a lot more. I wish I realized I started grinding wins a lot earlier, but unfortunately, I did not do that. And yeah, I really want to get a lot more wins for the video, but unfortunately, I just ha don't have enough time. But yeah, 15.8 decillion is still a pretty good amount of wins and should still last for a little bit to potentially get the Soldier Dominus. And yeah, also went ahead and used some of the codes in the game, which I had no clue even existed. And yeah, one of them I went ahead and redeemed gave me an all stat boost for 3x times for 48 hours, which is actually pretty insane. I'll definitely take it. And yeah, also I didn't realize that some of my potions ran out, so let me go ahead and pop some more of these. Especially before I open up the egg, because I want to get some potential luck of getting the chances of hatching a gold and void pet from both these eggs, as well as the luck boost. And oh my goodness, the entire time I was grinding, I just realized I didn't even have the double wins potion on. I have so many of them enabled, or so I have so many of them in my inventory, and I didn't even have any of them equipped. Oh my goodness. So yeah, definitely pretty unfortunate. I could have gotten a lot more wins than what I already have. So yeah, in the future videos, you'll probably see me with a lot more wins or something. I don't know, eventually I'll have a lot more. But yeah, we have a pretty good amount, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to this best egg in the game. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open up some of these eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and auto delete at least the first two pets. And yeah, we have every single luck boost in the game. We have all three luck game passes. We have the luck boost, we have the golden potion, and the void potion. And actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and remember this time to actually go ahead and use my lucky team because I forgot to do that in the last video. So yeah, now we have some of these lucky pets equipped and we can go ahead and get some better luck on opening up the egg. So hopefully we can maybe get the soldier dominance with all the luck boosts in the game. So yeah, here we go, and uh, wish me luck on uh, hopefully getting something good. Alright, we are back after opening up the egg, and we have spent all of our wins. And yeah, if we go ahead and open up our inventory, I'm not sure if we actually did get one. And yeah, if I go ahead and search up Soldier, as you can see, unfortunately, we did not get one. I also had to go ahead and stop and auto-delete this 15% pet because my inventory was filling up way too quick. So yeah, unfortunately, we did not receive uh, this best pet in the game, but I heard it's actually pretty good. I think some people were actually saying that it has 60 million base stats at a baby and normal. So yeah, when it's upgraded, it's definitely pretty overpowered and definitely the best pet in the game probably besides the Season Pass pet. Or to be honest, it might even be better than this pet. I have honestly no clue. But yeah, unfortunately, since I did spend all of my wins, I now do not have any and can't really do much with the eggs. Thankfully, since I was given some pretty good pets in the game, the pets inside of the egg aren't really going to help me out that much. But if I can get the Soldier Zomino somehow, that would definitely be pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't even realize that there was literally so many codes in the game as well, and one of them I redeemed gave me an all stat boost for three times, so I'm definitely going to make sure I utilize this to my fullest potential. Because the three times stats is extremely helpful, especially mixed with the two times weekend. And if I can actually manage to get my time boost up to 150%, I will be getting so much strength. It would definitely be pretty overpowered. But yeah, also let me go and teleport over to the garden real quick because I think I actually could probably go and eat some of the fruits and actually get a decent bit of some help right here. I also have attained a so many of these apple and banana seeds. I have no clue if the, either of these are even very good. I have no clue which one's even better to be honest. Let me know in the comments down below which is the better seed in the game because I literally have no clue. 
Wait, let me go and go back to the spawn area because I'm pretty curious really quick. So yeah, not 100% sure. I was kind of curious if I was able to get some more pet equips from unlocking pets inside the index, but it does say maxed out right here. So I might not be able to get any more pet equips from here, but I have actually seen some people that have had 45 pets equipped and I'm only at 43. So yeah, I have no clue how they're able to get an extra two pet equips. I don't really know what they did. But at the same time, it could have been something from the Christmas event and I literally have no clue. We also for guys do have some of the bananas as well. Let me go and eat some of these for some boost. And now with pretty much everything that I do have, I'm getting a 34.8 QI per lift, which is pretty good. I think the only thing I could do better right now is by getting the friends boost up as well as getting the time boost up. So yeah, if I can get both those things up, that would definitely be uh, pretty nice. And he also this person in the chat said that he subscribed, so I appreciate it. And honestly, since he subscribed, I'm going to go ahead and give him a pet real quick. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give him this haunted pumpkin right here with best friend 6, which a lot of people said to him in the, in the comments that you guys actually wanted these pets. So they're pretty decent pets, and I guess they're somewhat rare as well. So uh, here, I guess this person can go ahead and take one of them. There you go, bro. Hopefully you enjoy it and use it. Yeah, also I got a lot more of these codes in the game, so I'm kind of curious if I go to redeem these, what I'll actually get. So let me go ahead and pop a couple of these codes. It said already redeemed for this one. Alright, there we go. We got 5% on all of our strength and 2 times wins for 2 hours. I'll definitely take it, and the code was literally just rocket, I guess, so I'll definitely take it. So yeah, we did get a little bit more of a strength boost, so we can get a little bit higher up there, because we need a lot of strength if we want to be able to defeat this last boss right here. And yeah, I'll definitely be able to in the future, but currently, I am not even close to how much I actually need. I've actually been able to defeat this third person right here, and it actually gives a pretty good amount of wins. As you can see, I get 5.49 million, and that's without even my, my uh, winner team. With the winner team, I'm getting 50 non-million wins per time I defeat him, and what just happened? Okay, there we go. But yeah, we were able to farm a ton of wins from defeating these bosses. It's actually pretty helpful. And yeah, before I even started farming wins before actually trying to get a lot for the video, I wasn't even using the stab booth for 3 times wins, and I wasn't even using the double wins potion. So yeah, to be honest, I wish I was using both of those because I would have received a lot more wins if I was trying to get a lot more. But yeah, now I definitely know in the future whenever I am grinding to use both of those if I can because I'll be able to get a lot more wins. But also, last thing before I end off the video, a lot of people are actually pretty curious on what this forge actually does inside of world number 8. And yeah, what it's going to be, at least currently, is it's going to pretty much be where you can go ahead and combine two arms and you can go ahead and put both of them inside of the forge. And by doing so, you will receive an arm that is actually a little bit stronger. So yeah, basically it just works as like combining your arms for a little bit of a higher percentage. That's basically how it's apparently going to work, but it could probably change because it's not guaranteed yet. But yeah, I guess we we'll have to wait to figure out what it actually does and it should be coming pretty soon. So it should be a pretty good update as well. But yeah, that's much is everything for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs. I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.